akana bekwa onno shakwa ne e ka hama isho onno aho chongwa kabe ko onno ko sa akona aka kwa ko ngak anak ako umako tote tote ko ya obe baba ala ko ko ta aka ko ta tsipa ika he bakwa ko tote tote ko ya the hazabe are considered to be some of the last true hunter gatherer communities left in africa there are around 1,300 members left living in northern Tanzania. Jami hii kwa kiasi kikubwa inategemea zaidi uendaji, ufugaji wa nyuki pamoja na uvunaji ulaji wa mizizi. Mabadiliko yameanza kuonekana kwamba hata hivyo kama upatikanaji wa chakula kwao umeanza kuwa ni ngumu. Kwa hiyo kwa kupitia mradi mwezesha kuwapatia mafunzo ya kilimo talatibu wanaanza kuelewa kwamba pamoja na kutegemea mizi na kutegemea msitu lakini wanategemea na kilimo kuwezesha kupata chakula na kuweza kuendesha maisha yao The Land Degradation and Food Security Project is funded by the Global Environment Facility with support from the UN's International Fund for Agricultural Development and the Government of Tanzania The project is helping the Hazabe community to find a reliable source of income while in turn preserving the forest. The community have been given over a thousand beehives, which are suspended in the trees to protect them from wild animals. They have also been trained in beekeeping. Twice a year, they harvest the honey, which is then extracted in a new facility funded by the project and sold on to local buyers. Lakini pia tuna sambaza kwenye lodges ya na na makampuni ya ya utalii pia kuwa na wapelekea The honey production supports not just those working as beekeepers but benefits the whole community. Uh, kwa upande wa watu tune tunasimamia mradi huu au tunaifaidika na mradi huu tunafika watu kama 150 na hamsini na bado watu wanaendelea kuongezeka kwa sababu jana wanazidi kukua kwa idadi itazidi kuongezeka. The Hazabe decide together how the money will be spent using it for both personal and community projects. Kutokana na mizinga hii natakiwa tu 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 vijana wetu tuwasomeshe wapate elimu kama hizo kwa ajili ya kujiingizia mapato na Shakwa used his profits to install solar power to use for electricity. He still appreciates his environment but is happy to embrace new techniques to help him and his family have a better life. Eh obe ka ta kan ya sha ana na onu ka ta ko ko ka pi ya bebe en sha ana. Eh uma ko ono oku ko e chebe bebe e pe. Ama e sho a tonu na ko ta me na. O ko ta te a ya mu a na onu e la o cha na ya ni. If it is working with 30,000 people across Tanzania providing sustainable livelihood whilst preserving the natural environment.